The church takes care of the poor. We have abdicated that to the government, and frankly, the government is very bad at it. The government has created generations now of poverty, created cycles that people literally cannot break. Literally cannot break. The gospel restores dignity to a person. When they understand that they're created in the image of God, then they want to do something with their life. When they understand that they're worth the life of Christ on the cross, they want to do something of meaning with this life. Why do you think it was illegal in Tennessee to preach the gospel to slaves? Because if somebody who is in chains understands that they're created in the image of God, they're not going to stay in chains long. It was dangerous. So what happens if we begin to help people understand? You're creating an image. You have a future. God has something in store for you. We began to train them about how to get ready for a job interview. My daddy took me in the living room that we never went in. The living room was off limits. (laughs) Took me in the living room and taught me how to shake hands. Here's how you greet a peer. Here's how you greet somebody who is in a higher station than you. Here's how you greet somebody who's more important than you. Here's how you greet a woman when she walks in. Do you know you let the woman extend her hand? You don't extend your hand to a woman. She extends her hand. If she wants to shake your hand, you wait to respond to her. Did you know that? Then my daddy didn't train you, did he? (laughs) Do you know that? Do you know how much pressure to put in a handshake? You respond to the pressure the person gives to you. Some of our friends have really bad arthritis. They do not want you to give them a hearty handshake. So if they just lay their hand in yours, that's all you do. That's training. That's practice. When my mother walks in, you stand up. Why? My daddy would knock you out if you didn't. (laughs) Young man goes to a job interview, doesn't dress properly, doesn't know how to be prepared for the interview, isn't ready for the questions, doesn't get the job. What does he say? Does he say, I need to do better? I wasn't ready. I'll go practice. I'll do. No. He says, the world is against me, and I'm going to turn against the world. Some of you train people to do jobs. It's what you do. You can change Middle Tennessee with the gifts you already have. Because I want you to understand something. If you were called from your sins, you were called to the work. You don't get one without the other. 